Welcome to another episode. Today we are in Ripon at the head of the navigation. So this is the furthest you can come. It's a real achievement actually and I feel like this has been um, quite a thing having bought the boat in Bristol and explored the far that reaches, you know, the furthest I could ever get. So uh, it's quite something. I've got a little plaque. Um, I had it from the owner before me and um, which I think it means the boat's been here at least once before. But anyway, quite sad about this, but it's time to leave. Uh, you only get two days in this mooring spot here, and there's not much else around Ripon City, so, but it's a, it's a fairly small place. It's the third smallest city in England, after Wells at number two, and the city of Westminster in London at number one. So, with a heavy heart, it's time to go. Let's crack it. best service stations or sanitary stations whatever you want to call them on the on the system pretty much We've got two water points you can stay here for 48 hours and it's got the most amazing shower and kept so clean by the CRT staff absolutely brilliant sad to be leaving this place seem to have everything including a fantastic pub of the week So I, th I think you all know by now, if you've been following these videos, what makes a great pub for me. It's one that I could just walk in and be myself. And this is definitely one that gives you a nice warm welcome. The locals will talk to you if you talk to them. And the general atmosphere is just really nice and cosy and relaxed. I think there's music some nights, so uh, people just bring their instruments and play. It's that kind of pub. Um, the beers are absolutely amazing. Um, but most of all the staff, the barmaids, big shout out to Emma who um, also showed me a little bit of ripping as well so thanks Emma. Me and uh, Emma went out after the bar closed. Uh, there's a place called the King William or King Billy and that's a good, that's a right pub. And then the Black Swan after that which has got some really bad ratings on uh, Google Maps but it's not too bad, it's good fun you know and it's the only one that's open quite late I think as well. And a good pub of the week is nothing without being close enough to a chippy of the week. I don't always go to chip fish and chip shops and I certainly never sit down and have a little meal while I'm there but this one just seems so inviting and uh, cozy and welcoming that I just thought why not. I thought the price was going to be you know restaurant prices but the value is incredible. I sat down with a small fish and chips which comes with bread and butter and mushy peas and a cup of tea as well. I didn't know that so I bought an iron brewer so I've had this, this huge feast laid out in front of me and it was only about six pounds for all of that. So I definitely recommend going to the Jolly Friar which is on the same street All Hallowgate uh, in Ripon so yeah definitely check that out. If you're a boater like me or you haven't got a washing machine you'll also need a laundrette so there is only one place for me and that is the Rip and Laundrette, but it's run by this amazing man called Jeet. And Jeet, if you're watching, hello my friend, uh, thanks so much for make, making me feel welcome, and um, yeah, what a great little business you've got there, absolutely fantastic. Peace and health to all your family, and um, yeah, hope to see you again one day. Some of these lock gates are bloody hard to move, so you've either got to have some help or get buff like me.
this canal is so quiet, it'd be the ideal one to start off on if you were learning to sail, learning, learning to boat, no one around, you, you, you're guided to keep in a straight line. You can see where the bottom of the canal is even, so yeah, lovely. And I think there's higher boats up here if you want to try that as well, so it's got it all, man. Mind you, if you were to meet another boat coming the other way, yeah, that would certainly teach you how to get in line and uh, slow down anyway, because as you can see, there's not a lot of space. Now, I don't usually do any cooking videos on uh, YouTube, but I do like to mess around in the kitchen. And when you're in the middle of nowhere, you sort of have to get a little bit creative with food sometimes. But today I've created something truly disgusting. I've made some uh, chocolate and peanut butter flapjacks. Ingredients, what I've done is I've got peanut butter first, then golden syrup, then I've chucked in a load of sultanas, walnut pieces and pecans and then got the melted chocolate put it on top with a few more pecans as well and some nice porridge oats and that's about it they're not even cooked yet but that already looks like i want to eat it right now so in here i had a little bain marie going which is now over there and that is uh, just got some water and coffee in it now so i'm gonna have a real nice chocolatey oh, like a mocha pretty much my favorite coffee I also like to keep a stash of long life milk. So um, if you get caught out, you can just um, just crack one of those open. But yeah, that's gonna be lush. And um, these are gonna be washed up or cleaned by mouth. Mm, mm. Right, so let's put that in the oven. Oven. And then I'm just gonna pop it in there. I think I might have to take that paper bit off a little bit, but let's see how that goes. Oh, gas mark five for 20 minutes, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep checking it. I've just paid for my Canal and River Trust license. My, my license cost me about 750 quid for a year. I've gone to the local printers. I've printed out my license, little, little tax disc sort of style thing, and I've put them in both windows. So you can't get me now, guys, because I've paid for my license. Right, and let's have a look, see what's happened here. Look at that, that's the finished article. Nice. So I'll let that cool down and get stuck in, I reckon. <laughs> Better have dinner first, though. otherwise, because it all go. Go back onto the River you. Sad times! Sad times. Right folks, well I'm afraid that is the end of the video. The canal is very, very short. So the next voyage log sh should be a little bit longer. We've got loads of fun stuff coming up anyway. But before I say goodbye, I want to add a new crew member to the list. Before I add the new member, I'm actually going to make a correction because I'm afraid, Cora, I spelt your surname wrong. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry about that. There we go, so Cora Clowden. So, so thank you once again for joining. And so our new member is Jez Hollins. Jess, thank you so much for joining the Cranky Crew. You're very welcome, and I hope you enjoy these videos. I want to also give you a chance to win something. So this, what I'm wearing right now, is a hoodie that I designed. It's a, it's a very white grey, I'd say. 
um, but it's not my colour, you know. Uh, so if it's yours and you're a size XL, or you just like a little bit more of a baggier hoodie, then all you have to do is just let me know by any means you like, and uh, by the time the next video comes out in a week or so after that, I will announce who's won it. I'll just pick pick a name at random, and. Um, will message each other and find out your address so I can post it to you so I'll know where you live um, but anyway if you like this and um, the design on it then it could be yours and I also want to say a really big thank you to you at home thank you to everyone who subscribed and helped me along the way everyone that I've met as well especially for all the lovely comments and generally for supporting me on this crazy adventure. So until next time, keep on cranking it.